Hello there, and welcome. I'm Machine Dana. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. I hope you're having a great day. So quite recently, Stream Elements released uh, a new tool called Mercury. It's currently in beta mode. You can access this by logging in, and I'll show you how to do this in the video. It's a really good tool, and in this video, I'm going to go into exactly how you can install Mercury from Stream Elements, why it's a really good tool, and a little bit more about how to use it, the best way to use it. I'm going to go over some of the details of the features that it has. It's a really, really good tool. It's only been out for a short while and it is currently in beta so some of the features will change quite a lot but basically what mercury from stream elements is it's a way to enhance the descriptions of your youtube content your static content on youtube is obviously whatever you choose it to be you can update it and change it whenever you want but the thing is it relies on you doing that what mercury does is it pulls from different data points and updates your description on the fly so it keeps your description up to date with certain bits of information and those things tend to be things like polls if you want to run a long-term poll on a video latest supporters latest subscribers or even like goals and things like that, that you want to include into your video descriptions there's also some other tools as well like if you want to overlay supporters or overlay some certain things onto your video by kind of pulling that data creating a file downloading it and then including that in your video edit you can do that but what mercury does is it allows you to get that data and make that file on the fly at the point that you're distributing that video and therefore at the point that that's done that data is up to date if you do find it useful please hit the like feel free to subscribe to the channel and if you want to check me out in one of my live streams you can at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana let's do this so essentially what Mercury is, it basically allows stream elements to take fields of data, fields that will be updated all the time, like your subscriber count or poll information, or even like your latest supporter or your latest subscriber. And it will basically authorize stream elements from taking that data and Mercury will then place that data wherever you want to place. There's a few different places that you can put it. And obviously the main use of this is to update your YouTube descriptions. This is not a product that's really available via, to my knowledge, any other product. So please let me know in the comments if you're aware of anywhere else that this product is available but it just changes your descriptions to be a lot more dynamic so you can run polls you can shout out to latest people that have subscribed to your channel or perhaps have gifted you like donations and things like that but you can also set goals and those goals will be updated over the course of time in the description of your video and the great thing is about this you can also bulk update your videos so you can kind of backdate some of this i'm going to be adding this to basically all my videos from here forward and i'm going to try and evaluate what the effects are on my videos and on my channel it may only add like a five percent uplift to the number of people that actually subscribe to your channel but five percent for adding something that's really easy kind of an easy win to be honest it's like a low-hanging fruit really and also the other thing is, is this is just like a really cool innovative thing to just add something a little bit different so let's get into how to install it so first of all you are going to need to go to streamelements.com they're promoting this pretty heavily with a banner at the top here or if you want you can just go straight to mercury.streamelements.com you're going to need to basically log into this so you can log in through stream elements or ideally through this one here get started and now it asks for some permissions which we now need to agree to okay so on this widget there is an option to go for a tour up here i'm not going to do that but there is a get starting tour that you can use it's got some metrics about the channel which you can switch between seven days and 28 days but to be honest most of this data is probably going to be available on youtube studio so most of this won't be a surprise to you guys at all you have got the option right from this dashboard here to go straight into creating a poll or create some active tipping on your videos i don't have members activated on my youtube channel yet but if you are a youtube streamer and you have members activated there are options to apply like widgets for members within your videos as well so this is just the dashboard section we can check out on the my videos section here it takes a couple of seconds but it will basically import all of your current videos into here for review and these numbers will be updated over time if you fancy seeing a really funny short that happened randomly on a stream the other day check out this fart in a bottle short here so we've got a few different sections here obviously we've got the information about the videos now at this point we've got the option to select one or multiple or even all videos now at this point you can either add a template or a widget to the video so and we'll go into a bit more detail about how you create widgets and templates in a second but this is just the adding process. So I can click on the specific video to add a dynamic widget to it by clicking here. And they've made this really, really simple. Straight away within like two or three clicks, I'm into this section where I can add widgets or templates. And it's like drag and drop. 
So for instance, if I wanted to drag a subscriber link into the top of the video, I could do exactly that. Drop this down. This will create a subscriber link so that when someone clicks on that, it will auto subscribe them to the channel. And that in itself is just a really quick, easy quality of life thing that you can add to your stream. But let's go through some of these widgets one by one. You can also click now on the previewer just very quickly to see what this looks like to the viewer. In this case, it's just a URL like this. And this will land the person straight away into a section where there'll be a question, do you want to subscribe? I have actually done a separate video on creating a subscriber link, which I'll link like on the card above me. So that's quite cool. We'll go back to the customization page. I'll remove that now. So we've also got a tipping link, which will link someone to your tipping page, Patreon link, Discord links. And these are all like the standard widgets that are available within Mercury. Then we've got some spotlights as well, like the latest subscriber, the latest tipper, newest Patreon supporters, newest Discord members, things like that. I do quite a lot of discord content so if you're here and you have a discord and you want to subscribe to my channel for more discord content please feel free to do so but for me having something like a new discord member is something really cool that i can just quickly add to mercury to all of my videos but i could specifically select all of my discord playlist videos and add this newest discord member widget onto it and that's obviously a really cool widget to add then we've got some just random engagement options here at the moment you've only got poll enabled which when I drag that in, we'll be able to start a poll and we literally just create the question from within this widget as we've dragged and dropped it. Remember, we're in one specific video here, but we can bulk update multiple videos if we want to do that. Are you a legend? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but... <laughs> So I've added that poll option there. And once I click off that now, this poll will appear at the top of that video. We'll preview what this looks like once again. I don't know why it's saying I've got no subscribers. That feels buggy to me. So I obviously have more than zero subscribers on YouTube, but whatever. We won't worry too much about the kinks that are happening at the moment. So we can already see that what this poll looks like is actually quite cool. They've got the dots there and that will basically have a bar that will appear after it. And I think they like vertical dashes and obviously a percentage of the votes. Yes, yes, work. You can add examples here as well. For example, if you had an Amazon affiliate products and you're doing a two product comparison you could add an amazon affiliate link to both of these there's many many more applications for how you could use this but that's obviously just one of them and that just creates a hell of a lot more engagement or monetization options for you as a creator so i'm just going to go ahead and hit apply to video and this will hopefully apply to that video and we'll check it out exactly on youtube really nice quality of life feature here i can just click on this video here and it will pop out a new window and open the video and i can now see here that the poll is there now because i've not added any specific links to this poll. Instead, what it's done is put a placeholder poll, which has placed my YouTube banner, my icon, and then the results of the vote. And it says here at the bottom, powered by Mercury. It's a really cool... I didn't design this. This is just something that Mercury's just added as a nice like usability function. And it's not much, it's just a nice sort of branded hold you've got on your channel. And that literally only took me 20 seconds to add. I've just tried clicking on that poll again. It said you can only vote once. So that's pretty cool that it limits the number of votes as well. So now we're gonna try out the template section. Templates basically allow you to immediately apply changes to all your videos by updating a single template. So it's really good that they've done this. They've basically added the tool that allows you as a creator on YouTube, new to this product to bulk apply something to all of your videos or at least a lot of videos and that's a really really good tool so we'll go ahead and create a new template let's start by putting a subscriber goal in there so we're currently at 2100 let's say we want to put a subscriber goal of 5000 now we click on preview what happens is it adds a percentage the current amount and the objective amount so what's cool here just to encourage subscribers i'm going to pull in the latest subscriber so anyone that might just want a little bit of extra exposures watching your videos might subscribe and that would update their name in this link but it would do it across every single video that you have so that's kind of cool for someone that's got like two or three hundred videos they subscribe and then immediately they've got exposure across so many different videos again we can preview this there's no text here by default so i'm just going going to go into this template here. I'm going to click left side of it and I'm going to type latest subscriber like that. We're going to preview and there you go. I just want to put a little emoji in there. So I'm going to put a little star, customize this and just put a little star next to subscriber. Preview that looks a little bit more engaging. So we've got a template here. Let's add one more thing, which would be like a tipping link. If you've already got stream elements set up, then you've probably already got a tipping section or a tipping page set up for new stream elements. If you've not, you'll have to basically connect your PayPal and your email. I don't have my tipping through stream elements, but it's really easy to set up. But again, I'm not all too happy with this. So I'm just going to go left on this, my YouTube by tipping here. 
Now, one thing I'm really interested to see here is how this behaves with my existing content on YouTube, my existing descriptions, i.e. delete it or whatever else. So let me just save this template that we've got here. Test template. And we can make loads of different templates like this if we want to. For example, there might be an Amazon affiliates template, a polling template, a tipping template, or a Discord template, or something like that. So I'm just going to go into this video here. I'm going to click to add a dynamic widget. I'm going to go into templates, and I'm now going to add this template here. I'm going to put my cursor on the left-hand side, top left there, add this template. You can click on it, and it will add it wherever your cursor is, or you can drag it in as well. Now when I apply to video, click on this to test to see if it's there, and straight away, it's added that data to to the video this is really quick really really easy this has not been a long edit for me to do so far i mean really this is so damn easy to use now i'm just going to try adding across multiple videos here these two i'm going to select a template this test template and now we've got the option to add at the beginning or at the end so i think they're just playing it safe here to say you want to add it at the very beginning or the very end and it looks like it will ignore all other content one word of warning here there is a 5,000 character limit on youtube descriptions if one of your videos already has 5,000 characters clearly you're not going to be able to insert this content without deleting some other content yeah it's added it to the top here i think i probably if i was to do that again i'd put a space there afterwards so it applies the space on the template as well final thing here we can also do connections here so we can connect patreon we can connect discord i've not done that yet but we can also vote on the next connections as well so clearly we need to be voting on twitch here show all results so far twitch is obviously very popular there so as you can see this is a really easy to use tool very very quick to set up and it's even really really quick to add a template across literally all of your videos on youtube but now i'm just going to go into a little bit more detail about how the shout out options work this is where you're able to pull data into like a transparent video file that you can then overlay onto your video exactly like this down below so how we do this we're going to click onto my shout out videos what this doing here all we're doing is we're selecting different themes there's different themes you can choose from here it basically pops up pops down and it shows the latest in this case the latest subscribers but we can select if we want something like members patrons discord members i'm not a youtube streamer so i don't have members activated yet on my channel i don't have patreon and i've not connected my discord so obviously this limits my current options as i'm making this video so if i just go with subscribers for now and then we can either do since the last video or we can say in in the last week so i've just clicked on obviously subscribers to the last week here there are 14 that have joined rest in peace in the last week and then we can customize a message here as well so and this is the purple bit that, that joins there so even emojis work as well here that's kind of cool you choose a scroll speed so if you want it like quite fast now we'll keep it at regular here and also you can choose the maximum number of subs that you want to show for example 20 30 40 something like that We're just saying this video length is 15 seconds and the video size is this we've now basically created like a webm file which in your video editor you can then overlay onto the video this has literally taken me all of 30 or 40 seconds to do you can also choose a layout here so let's say if we wanted it down the side pop out like this so now we can either export the data itself as a csv file or we can generate the webm file right there did appear to be like a little bug there it didn't actually have like a confirmation screen that it had been downloaded it actually had downloaded in my shout out videos here so it's actually done it twice here and i had to remake it again now this is basically just generated a video in a list and now i can go to my shout out videos here and we can see the actual shout out videos or we can go back to the video list here or we can then generate a new shout out video in the top right hand corner i can now download this within the browser and we can see as well, just for reference point, this is less than two megabytes in size. It's not going to cause too many problems in your editor. So this is obviously a really, really cool tool. I just wanted to spend a minute or two now talking about why this is really, really important. First of all, on YouTube, it is extremely competitive. It's been around for like 20 years. Any type of content you're going to make is going to be very, very competitive. I guess the question is how competitive is it and what are you doing as a YouTuber to make yourself stand out a little bit more? Adding things like this to your YouTube videos does help your community your viewers engage with you as a content creator a lot more but it also helps them engage with the videos a lot more as well it's something a little bit different it makes you stand out a little bit more and not many people have this yet it's still in beta maybe in a year or two this will become common ground right now it's not common ground and so adding this to your youtube videos and again it really doesn't take that long at all to do is obviously a pretty good thing to do it's just better social media technology to have dynamic information in a space where it shouldn't actually be dynamic information but you've allowed stream elements and mercury to update your descriptions and therefore it's able to do that it'll be interesting to see whether that actually affects 
the SEO in terms of the optimization of the video and the competitiveness of the video or whether it actually hinders it because the description is being continually updated. I suspect YouTube's algorithm will appreciate rather than not like these types of dynamic updates, but it remains to be seen and I'll let you know in a future video whether that's the case. Ultimately, what this is going to do is add more engagement on your videos. It's going to increase how quickly or the conversion rate of people visiting your videos and viewing the videos, how much they actually then subscribe. You're then able to do new things like add polls and things like that. And of course, then integrate new monetization options like, for example, the tipping page. So essentially, it's making static content a lot less static. So there you go. That was Mercury from Stream Elements. I'm sure you will agree a really, really good tool that adds a little extra layer of kind of dynamicness to your YouTube content. it will be interesting to see how they develop this product over the course of time. Once I get an affiliate code from Stream Elements and or Mercury, I will drop it below and that'll get you money off and savings and stuff like that. But yeah, until then, hopefully enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Take care.